Sasha and I are out at our neighbor's field planting garlic today. And in this video, I'd like to share notes with you uh, around uh, the style that we use for prepping garlic beds, getting them really loose and fluffy and lovely for the garlic's needs, how we separate, how we plant, how we mulch and get them established. If you're interested in knowing a little bit about the history of this field, we made a video earlier in the season. This is where we grew millet. There were sunflowers here. There was corn in the middle. There were Waltham butternut squashes all around the edge. This was a tilled field back in June. And so rather than tilling it ever again with a machine, well, as long as we can help it, we're building these permanent raised beds for garlic and other crops. Let's get into it. We started by ideally taking beds that were in production last year. So in other words, where we had walkways already, we're robbing more soil from those walkways to go deeper in the walkway and higher on the bed. If we were starting from scratch, we'd probably want to lay this out exactly on contour if we could. These straight lines, although they're not very exciting, they're still pretty functional in spreading and distributing water. You can see Sasha's going through with the shovel and shaving that walkway and building it up on the bed. We went through it first with a hay fork and shaved and picked off the mulch that was in where the walkways are going to be. If there were weeds as we dug and throw the soil on there, we pull them out. We're throwing all the weeds, all the excess mulch on the boundary of these gardens. These beds will be winter squash next year, which will train to come back into the garlic later on. But by going through, kind of sketching where the walkways would be first and then going deeper and deeper, we're able to have a lovely amount of water storage in the walkways and take the topsoil and looseness of the soil where the garlic is going to grow and at least double it, if not triple it, and make for very easy access as far as where is a walkway, where is a bed. It should be crystal clear next year. This section we just finished as uh, two three foot wide beds that run about 120 feet long, all filled with hard neck garlic, so a pretty significant amount. And you can see it's very textural, very three dimensional permanent beds. A little bit of twist and turn there because we didn't draw lines. This is all handwork. And in a loose agricultural field, prepping up these kind of beds is actually, well, certainly it's hard work, but it only has to be done once and it really creates beautiful beds for these plants. Sean's just shaving the walkway a little bigger from what I did. My walkways are always a little off kilter. They're lovely, they're creative. Now Sean's just smoothing out the bed to prepare for planting. This is a task I can't stand. I never do it. I don't like smoothing the beds, I don't know why. It's a good chance to pick out whatever weeds are sitting on the top as well. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's why I don't care for it. If there's big rocks, we pluck them out and send them to the side too. The beautiful part about this is by digging from the walkways and putting it on the beds, we're burying whatever weeds were in here. There's some hay, there's old stalks of sunflowers. All of that is below the soil. It'll feed the garlic this winter. And the soil now is insanely loose and fluffy. So it makes it a lot easier, excuse me, a little warmer, sorry. Makes it a lot easier to push the cloves of garlic in. We're not worrying that we get the garlic to the exact depth we want, because if it doesn't go in as deep as we'd like, we can simply shave a little more soil from the walkway and bury it more, and that works just fine. So now we actually crack the garlic out and get them planted. If you want a trick on how to do this in a really effective way, I'll link here to another video and you're welcome to check that out. But I'll go through and break these. And because of the prep work we've done, planting is so, so fast. We're gonna give these cloves some very generous spacing. They're already pretty big, but this way they can size up even more. They've been planted, and now Sasha's going through and getting a little bit more of extra loose soil from the walkways to 
plant them, so to speak, even deeper, to bury them a little bit deeper. So we don't worry as much if they're not exactly at the full depth we want. We actually don't plant incredibly deep. We build up with soil, we'll put compost on top of that, a little more soil, and we'll mulch like crazy, and the garlic will end up being at a perfect depth without having to send it so deep into the actual earth. Loose fluff. Soil added on top of each of the garlics. Now Sasha's adding a little bit of compost. Feels like this is the place to add soil amendments and compost, is above the clove, not worked down into the soil next to the clove, not below it, but as a mulch above where you've planted, but below where you put the final mulch. We might add a little more soil on top of this just to pin it down, and then we'll go super deep with lawn clippings and old waste hay. You could use shredded leaves, you could use wood chips, you could use straw if it's not sprayed, sawdust, but we have access to lots of old rotting hay, so that's what we'll use. We did two beds like this on the other side. It took us a bunch of days. We just, we've been liking planting whenever we have the time to do it and not feeling like we have to do the whole bed in the moment that we have the time. We just get to wherever we can get to and then we stick some of the stalks in a line so we remember where we finished off and then we just come back another time when we have the time and it's, it's nice. <laughs> so the last step is the really deep mulch, old waste hay. We have little piles of lawn clippings here or there. We'll gladly put those down first. Again, shredded leaves work great. You want to be careful not using very thick layers of fresh leaves, especially uh, maple and oak we found can kind of seal the garlic off from growing. But with the hay, you can go basically as deep as you want. We might go six to eight inches deep of loose hay. What we'll want to do in the future when we have time is come back and check that the hay hasn't settled or the soil hasn't moved too much. If it does, we add more hay. We, when in doubt, add more mulch. And if we have time this later fall and winter, these walkways would really benefit for being filled with coarser, woodier debris. So for example, if we pulled the millet stalks, or if we wanted to go in and clean up the corn stalks in that area, laying them in these walkways with a bit of hay on top would be amazing. It would soak up excess nutrient in the winter and be a reservoir for the earthworms to dip into in the spring. But that's our flow for planting garlic. Hand tools out in the sun, it's pleasant and grow some pretty big, beautiful heads. Hope this is helpful.